Today in this video, I'm going to show you that how many types of B cell in immunology. Uh, we know that the B cell and the T cell are most important lymphocyte in our body. Uh, here, I'm going to show that T cell and their different types. If you take some blood from your body and you see the lymphocytes, Within the lymphocytes, 70 to 85 percent are T cell and 5 to 20 percent are B cells. So the majority part of the lymphocyte are T cells. And these T cells are divided mainly into adaptive T cells and the innate like T cell, depending on that how the T cell works. And these adaptive T cell have different kinds like the first of all is the helper T cell. Second one is the cytotoxic T cell. Third one is the memory T cell. This can be helper or the cytotoxic T cell. Fourth one is the regulatory T cell. Most important adaptive T cell are helper T cell and cytotoxic T cell. And definitely uh, for the prevention of the infection and the disease, the memory T-cell helps. So the helper T-cell or T-cell, those help the other cell. That's why they are called the helper T-cell. They express the CD4 protein on their surface. That's why they are CD4 positive T-cell. CD4 T-cell or the helper T-cell can be categorized depending on their cytokine profile like they can be th1 th2 th17 th9 and the follicular helper t-cell th1 type of cd4 t-cell those produce the interferon gamma and they help to clear the intracellular bacteria or virus These two type of helper T cell can produce interleukin-4, interleukin-5 types of cytokine and they help to clear the extracellular bacteria or virus. T17 type of cell produce the IL-17 cytokine and they normally reside in the mucosal surface and help to protect the pathogen in the mucosal layer. TH9 produce the IL-9 type of cytokine and they mainly effective for the parasites. Follicular helper T cell are T cell those reside on the follicle of the secondary lymphoid organ. Their main function is to help the B cell to proliferate, make the antigen specific plasma cell or activated B cell and somatic hypermutation. Cytotoxic T cell are toxic for other cells, for example, the cancer cell or the infected cell. So they express the CD8 protein on their surface. So they are called also the CD8 T cell. Memory T cell are those T cell. They produce from the CD4 or the CD8 T cell. And after the infection, they survive in our body to prevent the future infection with the similar virus or bacteria. There are three types mainly central affector and the tissue resident. Central memory T cell or T cell, those side in our body during the infection or the after the infection. The affected memory T cell or T cell, those go directly for the action when the virus or bacteria attacks us. 
T2 resident memory tissue cells, those go to different tissues like lung or intestine or the skin and they stay there after the infection as a memory T cell. The fourth category is the regular T cell uh, because all these three kinds, the kind one, two, three, go for the action. However, when the virus or bacteria are cleared from our body, this T cell needs to be calmed down. So, this type of CD4 T cell help to calm down or regulate those other types of T cell. That's why they are called regulatory T cell. They are mainly CD4 type, meaning they express the CD4 protein on their surface. Besides the adaptive type of T cell, those actually help for longer term and have the so adaptive capacity to enhance their function. Some are innate like T cell. They do not have the capacity to enhance their function after the multiple infection. So they are called like innate. There are different types of innate T cell. Among them, first one is the natural killer T cell. Second one is the mucosa associated invariant T cell or made cell. Third one is the gamma delta T cell. They are categorized depending on what type of molecule they can recognize. For example, the natural killer T cell can recognize by the CD1 molecule on their surface to the glycolipid molecule. If some glycolipid are presented to the CD1 molecule of the NKT cell, these NKT cell are activated and help to clear those glycolipid producing pathogen. Second one is the mucosa associated invariant T cell or made cell. They are called invariant because their T cell receptor or TCR, those are expressed on their surface, are not too much variable like the adaptive T cell. And they can recognize the vitamin B metabolites. When an antigen presenting cell express the MR1 in context of the vitamin B metabolites, meaning that they can bind to the vitamin B metabolites, that is the product of the bacteria. And this can be recognized by the T cell receptor of the mate cell. That's how mate cell are activated and then help to kill or clear the bacteria from the body. Third one is the gamma delta T cell. Normally the T cell produce the alpha and the beta chain, but this type of T cell they produce the gamma and delta chain of the TCR. And they can recognize the phosphoantigen from the pathogen. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up and let me know which topic I can cover for the next video.